Hey, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. And if you're new here, my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, other household gadgets, and consumer goods. If you like that, please consider subscribing to my channel, look me up on Twitter, and just hang on for the ride. Now, let's get to today's review. So today, we're going to look at a tool. It's called the Bell & Howell Tack Tool. It's 18 tools in one. Um, when I saw this, I thought of my van life friends that are out there. Um, I thought of my friends that go out camping. I thought of my outdoors people. I even thought about people maybe who go hiking or kayaking or whatnot. This would be a great little tool, I think, um, in your tool belt, so to speak. Um, I don't really think it's going to replace anything in the home because this is a pretty small item and you probably have a regular hammer or a regular wrench or regular saw or knife or whatnot. But I do think... For those recreational activities, people that are van life in it, camping it, um, this would be something that's sweet. So let's get to an unboxing. It's got those plastic um, tapes across the top, so let me just get a pair of scissors to cut them on each side. Shouldn't cut towards yourself. All right, so let's slide it out. <clears throat> Nothing in the box. I've got what looks to be directions, um, just in case I didn't know which tool did what. Um, ooh, I got more things down here. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize it came with a, uh, a carrying pouch. That makes it extra cool, because um, now I can put it in some place and have it secure. All right, so just in simple plastic, I have 18 tools in one. I gotta figure out what these 18 tools are because I can't see them. Clearly the hammer, I've got the claw, I've got a pair of pliers, and if you have to get access to the pliers, you just pinch this down, pull that back, and that's how you get access to the pliers. Um, up here I've got, let's see, it says I have nose pliers, and then I have a regular plier, and then I have wire cutters. Um, down, down on this side, I've got a bunch of knives and such. <laughs> it says on the side, warning, wear safety goggles. I don't have mine on yet. All right, so I've got... Saws, I've got wrenches, I've got bottle openers, I've got other saws, I've got a Phillips screwdriver, I have a knife, um, a lot of different things. Oh, this is a screwdriver head here, this must be a screwdriver head there. Uh, what else do I have? I got the bottle opener. I think that, oh, this one, I didn't see the nail file. Oh yeah, or not a nail file, but a regular file. I guess you can file your nails with it too. Um, so that's the tool right here. It's kind of sweet looking, but you know what? I want to actually put this to the test. I want to hammer some nails. I want to saw some wood. Uh, I even might want to use the screwdriver function just to see how they work. But here it is, Bell & Howell Tack Tool Unboxing. All right, so let's put to the test the Bell & Howell Tack Tool. But first, always put your safety glasses on. I'm going to put mine on, even though you won't be able to see them. They are on. Um, first thing we're going to test is going to be the hammering function. Um, I've got two different types of nails. I've got a 16 penny nail, and then I have just a simple fence staple. Um, both of these I could see utilizing out van life, camping, out, um, you know, just out in the wilderness type of thing. If you're if you're hiking or whatnot, um, nature trails and such. I could see some of these things being utilized. So let's just give it a test. Um, the 16 penny nail first. I'm gonna try not to hit my thumb. This hammer, um, it actually did a pretty good job. This part of the hammer is really nice, heavy duty. The, this part feels like a, a cheap er plastic, but all together the hold um, was pretty, pretty good. So I, I really liked that. Um, now let's try the fence staple to see how that will work. I definitely want to watch out for this one not hitting my thumb. All right. So just like the other nail, it went really, really well. Um, so that I'm impressed with. Um, so now let's check out the claw to see how the claw does taking these out. Um, it's good. This one might be a little more difficult. I'm going to use another another um, piece of wood there. Let's see. Yeah, so that came out. Um, I, I bet if it was for, in for, I got stuck in here. Um, but I bet if it was in there further, I bet... Um, it would still come out. You just had to maybe use some extra leverage. All right, so let's take a look at the screw part. Um, I don't know why I did that. All right, the screw part, I could just take this out. So, well, okay, there's the knife. Let's see if, how, how that works. 
Yeah, so you can see some of the shavings coming off there. So it's a pretty good knife. Feels kind of like it needs to be sharpened. It's not very sharp, but it is what it is. Um, all right, so let's pull out the Phillips head screwdriver. Now, I by no means think that you're going to be able to screw something like this. I just want to see if you can get it out. Um, this is meant for very small screws. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it does turn. I like I said, it's actually kind of awkward having to hold here where the claw is. I don't I don't know how else you would do this. So that part's you know I didn't think about that, but it is kind of awkward holding it that way. Um, Sometimes I know if you get a screw stuck, you might have to use pair of pliers to get it out. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, so yeah, pretty neat tool that way. Um, let's keep continue trying. Um, here I have just a standard wire. Um, I've actually had to replace a wire on the camper before. Um, so let's see if this will actually cut it. Um, this is just a 14-2 wire with ground, so it's a really thin wire. Um, all right, so I'm putting a, a lot of pressure in and it's not actually it's hurt my hand it's not um it's not cutting you can see where it's sort of like pinched oh yeah i guess if i do this back and forth a while it might yeah i mean i guess it worked it might be easier to actually take the wire out itself or or cut the outer sheathing first and then let's see yeah pretty good i think uh let's see try it real quick that's, I mean, it's still hard to do, but I still, I think that would be a better option for you. Um, as far as cutting the wire, cut the outer sheathing off and then see, hey, does this work? Works a little better. It's kind of dull actually, so maybe it doesn't work at all. Let's see. Yeah. It's actually really dull. This part, I would say, oh, I guess that part clipped it. You got to fiddle with it. So that's not really a good, like I said, this is thin, thin wire. Doesn't put a whole lot of uh, resistance against me. All right, so I did want to try um, the saw. There's a there's a branch saw. There's a coarse saw. So I'm going to pull out the saws. I'm going to use the branch saw right here. I'm going to make sure I lock this back down. Um, so let's do this branch saw. I'm going to build this up a little. So I have a branch from outside. I'm going to just cut off the end here. Um, I will say, just holding this, it's kind of weird because I'm holding it like this, but look, the claw is like digging into my hand. That's kind of silly to me. It might have make, made sense to have this flipped so the hammer the hammer part will be on this side and the claw on that side. Maybe Bell and Howell's. If you do the um, tack tool again, stage two, flip them because I'm going to be holding this and digging into my side the whole time. Um, so let me, I'm going to have to hold it this way. So let's just see how this works. Um, uh, it's hard to grab. Let me just do it on this side of the knot there. I have to clean up this mess before my wife sees it. Now I am having to put in pressure, but at the same time, watching out for my hand not to get jabbed by the claw and also not to cut my own finger. Now this is the branch saw, so and clearly this is a branch. I went through about halfway. Um, let's see, any, any angle I have, this claw is in my arm. There it goes. All right, so finally work. Took a lot of effort. Definitely something I would not use. Um, so there that is. Um, all right, so that was the tech tool. Um, I do want to see what it looks like in their carrying case. Um, so if I put it in here, I like this. I was real surprised it was there, so it's kind of cool. Let's see. All right, well, there it is. Oh, you know what? This is kind of annoying. The claw sticks out. This is gonna get snagged on everything. That was weird. Why didn't they made this make this a little different? Even bring it out a little bit. Um, so that's the Bell and Howell Tack Tool, um, and now I'll give you my final review. Bell and Howell Tack Tool can be found on Amazon for twelve dollars forty nine cents. 
I can put the link in the description below if you're interested. Um, this claims to be 18 tools in one, good for your home, auto, camping, and I would agree with two of those. Yep, your car, great, put it in the glove box, use it for whatever you need, something, maybe in a case of an emergency. Take it camping with you, absolutely, but not your home. You should have better tools than this at your home. This thing is kind of cheap. Um, the top hammer part is nice. Hey, listen to that rattle. Yeah, your tool should not rattle like that. Also, I noticed when I was using this and opening, this hammer part here started wobbling. Um, if you can see it, it just wobbles. So I believe over time, this will get really loose and probably um, eventually fail. The tools that I tested did okay. Um, I wasn't that thrilled with the wire snippers. I did like the hammer and I thought the claw part worked fine. But when I was using the blades down here, I noticed the claw got in my way every single time and I couldn't really hold it. I think if Bell and Howell is listening, a simple redesign, flip this. So the hooks on this side, the claws on this side, and the hammers on this side, that way I'm, I'm utilizing the claw as leverage as I'm sawing and not fighting into me. Um, anyway, this was the Bell and Howell Tech Tool, um, and that was my review. If you like this video, please click the like button. Also, comment below. What did you think of this video? Um, have you ever used something like this? Is there something else that you want me to review? Let me know and I'll look into it. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. As always, thanks for stopping by and have a good night. I do like this as a nail file. That's really not... Oh, hey, what are you still doing there? Click the button go on to the next video. Did you subscribe? Pretty sweet.